Hello guys, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today I'm going to be doing your reading for the next 48 hours. Okay, I didn't want to slip up there again. So I hope you guys are doing well. Sit back and relax and enjoy this reading. All right. Oh, before I get started, let me let you know, um, because I know and I already saw the the announcements not everybody always sees the community page but i personal readings are open um first come first serve limited availability i literally have um i have two more spots open for phone readings and let me see here two more spots opens because i only have limited for phone readings i have limited for everything but i have less for for phone readings because they just take up more of my energy two more spots available for phone readings <clears throat> and i want to say that those those video readings have been coming in very quick so i want to say maybe about four more spots for video readings okay i'm only taking a limited number um the turnaround time is a week for readings and then the next week will be my recoup recover time and then every two weeks we'll do a cycle like that where i open up a limited my or sometimes depending on the month if the holidays and stuff it'll only be once a month but i'll let you guys know ahead of time so this is it is officially open for personal readings if you email me and i email you back do not wait three or four days to get back to me because it's whoever you know, pays for the reading. That is what holds your spot, okay? You can't say, oh, I emailed you. No, you have to pay to secure your spot, okay? I completely understand, you know, sometimes people don't have the money right then and there, and that's fine. But you might have to wait for the next the next go round, okay? Because it's just, I have to do it in order to keep my life flowing and in, in balance. I'm in school and I'm doing a lot of things right now. So, that's my time period I'm getting with that because I really don't want to stop doing personal readings completely. I do enjoy them. I do like helping, but they take a lot of energy. They really do. So, and I enjoy doing readings for my channel. So, and I can't do as many readings for the channel when I'm doing a whole bunch of personal readings all the time. So, that's that. All right. So, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and there will be a winner announced for September. So, no more entries for September. They will be announced a winner for the um, September drawing. It'll be a surprise gift. Um, and that will probably be around Sunday. I'll try to do that before the Saints game. Okay. All right. So let's get started here. Give us a card here for the next 48 hours. Overall energy for Aries Collective. Thank you. What does Aries Collective need to see? Holy Spirit, Spirit, and Angels, please allow me to get back for a message. Ooh! Y'all, I still. <laughs> ooh! Spirit, ooh! I still get kind of creeped out when that happens. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ooh! This is the second time I started this video. And the same card came out. And I'd be shuffling the hell out of these cards. Y'all saw the same exact card came out. Ooh, Lord. Okay, so zombie. It's the zombie energy here. Aries. The overall energy for the next 48 hours is the zombie energy, which just talks about control. Let me show you the card. I love the card. I love Halloween. This is what it's going to be giving all month. Okay. So control. What areas of your life do you need probably a little bit more control over to be a little bit more disciplined in? And what areas of your life do you need to let go of control? That you need to surrender to the divine and let the universe do what it's going to do and flow. You need to do some self-examination right now in order to move forward to your next step. In order to probably have some peace in your life. That's what I'm hearing. In order to have some peace in your life, there's some things that you need to let go of. Okay, and there may be some things that you need to get under wraps. Okay, I'm hearing finances maybe get under control, some financial situations, maybe your spending habits. Okay, and you may need to, for some, I just heard social media, some people may need to wind down their social media time, some people need to limit their phone time. You might be draining, and 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 I'm hearing specifically with with 
phone time drama. That's what I just heard, drama. So if there's a situation where you get on the phone a lot and you're going back and forth about things that really don't involve you or, you know, people dumping on you, okay, we know what that is, people dumping their problems on you, you might need to, you know, limit that a little bit as well, okay, just for your own well-being, okay? All right, so let's get, um, ooh, ooh. That's just not healthy, right? You know, it's it's okay. You know, and there's a thin line. I think it's it's a it's a very there's a gray area because sometimes it can be where people need to vent, right? I need to vent sometimes. You need to vent sometimes, and it's always good to have a friend where you can do that in balance. But if you have somebody who's always dumping their problems on you, when I say dumping, those are the type of people who don't like to take advice. They just want to dump on you and then they just want to go and you know what i'm saying but you're not going to take my advice that's that's draining so aries some there's some aspects of your life that you need to put your foot down on just so you can be more balanced and be more in flow all right so there's your message for that so we have conclusions are in reach full moon and eclipse so something is coming to an end something is about to settle there may have felt like there, there was no end in sight, but there's something here that is about to surface to the top and give you some sort of resol resolution. Ow, shit, it's nailed. <laughs> felt like something shocked me. All right, let's get one more um, Moonology card. All right, we got two more here. So we got Sagittarius and Libra. Oh, I love getting this card. Say a new romantic cycle is begins. New moon in Libra. Shout out to my mother. It's her birthday today, which probably not anymore. I'm recording. It was her birthday, September 30th. New a new romantic cycle begins. Okay, we've been getting that card. We never used to get that card. So something is coming in here for Aries. It's in the air, it's in the energy, and we have new moon in Gemini. Communication is key. Speaking your truth, speaking what is on your mind here. If there's a situation, right, with this conclusions and unreached uh, card that is causing you, you may have been holding something in, communication is key, right? Speak your mind, speak your peace. Sometimes communication is necessary for clarity as well. Okay, look at this. I didn't even realize this. At the bottom of this deck, we have eternal love, which is like the lover's card. Love is here. Love is, love is, love and it transcends. How do you say it? Love is, love, love is love, is love. I couldn't say that. Love is love, is love. And it transcends physical death. <laughs> Could not say that right. But that's, I love it. I don't know if the camera really does it any justice, but... These cards, the art, the artistry on here is really good. So let's pull a few cards, a few tea leaf cards, fortune telling cards for the next 48 hours. I don't, use, I don't usually pull this many oracles, but I feel like the net need to. All right, for Aries. Aries Collective, next 48 hours. What's going on? Mix them up really good. I haven't touched these cards in a while. We'll get two. Can't even get in there. All right. Ooh, I got a lot. All right, I said two, but ended up getting a handful. So let's just take it. I was trying to put them back. So, ooh, okay. All right, so we got the lily energy here. The lily energy here. Spiritual love. I can't even keep the cards in my hand. Spiritual love. Not any kind of love, but a spiritual love. Beautiful. Let me put that on the new romantic cycle here. So we have the diamond energy. All right, this is April birthstone. I love seeing this. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Out of all these cards, I feel like we've gotten this card a few times. Wow, there's a lot of cards in there, okay? So, pineapple, uh-oh, reconciliation for some of you. I'm not surprised this card came up. I know a lot of you don't want to be hearing it, but we are in Mercury Retrograde right now. I did say I was going to do an all signs reading. 
for Mercury retrograde just to see what, you know, situations, um, you know, are come resurfacing because what happens during Mercury retrograde is that sometimes people come back from the past when you do need to resolve something. If you feel like your situation is resolved, then I'm not speaking to you. Okay. Not everybody is you. Let me just tell you that. But sometimes situations do come back up when you need to resolve them, when you need closure. Again, if it's not you, it's not you, but some people may need that. Okay. All right. So I think I will do one on, on all signs. Um, for what what is coming back or, or what, what do you need to close out, what cycle you need to close out. Again, believe it or not, you don't have to click on the video, okay? So if you don't feel like hearing about the past or something like that, you have free will. Don't have to click on the video. Okay, so Spear, heartache over what you no longer have. See, okay? Somebody here is not letting go. Okay, the situation with heartache is when we when when heartache is really when affecting us, it's because we're not able to let something go, and that's you know Mercury retrograde usually brings that back up. Okay, but y'all, this is the time to be happy here. We have the teardrops energy here, great personal sorrow. So somebody here is really sad about something that they've lost, maybe a breakup, a relationship. Doesn't have to be. It could be something else. But it's definitely something that somebody has lost here. This is not you. Don't receive it. Don't. That's not you. Okay. And we have the caterpillar energy. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. Beautiful. So that cleared that up. If you're in this energy right now, right, of great sorrow, great loss, crying, sad about a situation, you know, this too shall pass. Okay. Things are not always going to be like this. And whatever this situation is definitely meant to grow you. Okay. So it's time for you to look at it in a different perspective. Others of you, you have gifts coming towards you. You have beautiful blessings coming towards you. And it looks like you have a divine spiritual love coming towards you. Beautiful. All right, let's get into this message for the next 48 and see what's going on here. I'm using my Halloween deck because you guys are, it's officially October 1st. I might not post this right away, but it is officially October 1st. And I hope this doesn't offend anybody. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just keep talking between the reading. Somebody commented on my thing, on my page. I should have like a segment that says somebody commented. But anyways, um and said you're using those cards imps all right go off sis i hope she's watching i hope she's watching and um i was like i was in a good mood so i was like huh i was like do you know what this mean love like imps is just like a little devil it's like a little ghoul or devil or something she never responded i mean she literally commented like seven seconds before and I responded like seven seconds and she didn't she didn't respond so I don't know maybe it was just a troll but I hope this doesn't offend anybody it's Halloween little devil you know what I'm saying who doesn't know a little devil a lot of y'all be dealing with little devil so you know I just think it was I thought it was festive anyways in honor of her we're gonna be using these cards all month long all month long, we're going to use these cards. <laughs> and no matter how much I heal, pettiness ain't never going nowhere. Okay, so let's see here. The next 48 hours for the Aries Collective. What is going on here? Look at that. <laughs> eight of them. Eight imps. Where's she at? <laughs> Eight imps, okay? So eight of wands, guys. Messages, communication from little devils, okay? Seriously, it's Mercury retrograde here. You may be getting some very quick, passionate communication from someone from your past. I just feel like this is someone from the past. Look at this. The tower is here at the, at the bottom of the deck. So this may be some sort of quick communication that comes in that catches you off guard. Could be good. What's under there? King of pumpkins. Could be about money. All right, after five of pumpkins, after a loss or some sort, but it's definitely communication. We'll clarify that later, but yeah, I mean, these are imps, just in case anybody didn't know. These are imps. So anyways, 
Um, so eight of wands, quick communication. All right. Let's see here. What do we need to see about this communication? What is the challenge here for Aries? Eight of bats. Wow. Mm. So Aries, something here is really, wow. Aries, so you're really in your head about something here. It's really stressed out because the, the challenge here is to let something go. Don't tell me you're not. Somebody here is over analyzing, over excessively thinking about a situation. You may have received, what I'm hearing is like, you may have received a download about something. Like I've been receiving so many downloads, like downloads I don't even want to get right now. And so like, I understand like the kind of situation this could be. You may have come to a realization of something that really was like, wow, this happened. And so you're thinking about it a lot, obsessively over and over again, and it's going to keep you stuck. Okay. It's not saying that it is, but because it's in the challenge position, it has the potential to keep you stuck here. Okay. And we'll go back and clarify the eight of wands to see what this communication is. But your challenge right now here is to move forward. Somebody may be coming with an apology here, or it might have been a, been a situation with somebody who was really petty. Okay. Who is really petty okay page of swords is somebody here who, who who's petty sometimes watching you stalking you they're not coming forward okay they're not wanting to come forward and speak to you but they're going to watch you from a distance you know that kind of petty they don't have the balls or the goals to come up to you and say what they need to say but you're receiving communication from someone who don't, who don't know who this is all right all right Look at that. So 10 of imps and it's in reverse. So the 10 of wands in reverse here. There's a situation that I feel like you're getting over Aries because we have the ace of pumpkins here. Now the 10 of imps can sometimes here be that you're completely over this situation already. You've already let it go. Some people may be struggling to let go of it as well here. But it was a situation that was very burdensome. It was very difficult. Okay. And one thing I always express when I see the Ten of Wands is that sometimes you felt like you went through this situation alone. Nobody really understands your pain. It was a lot of baggage you're carrying and, and, and you probably shouldn't have been going through this alone, whether it's romantic or not, right? Everybody feels like they should have people to go through things. But Aries, I feel like you're getting over this situation and you're going to you're gonna come out of it. You're going to come out of it. We have the Ace of Pentacles here. It happened in the past. Two of imps, imps everywhere today, all right? So, yeah, there was a decision here, Aries. There was some sort of confusion. I feel like, you know, this is not the five of wands, but I feel like there was some sort of drama. It, it was almost feel like somebody was putting two people against each other. Queen of Ghosts, Queen of Pentacles. It feels very... I'm getting jealousy, okay? All right, so I'm not sure what this is or what happened here in the past. It's somebody, maybe a Virgo, uh, Capricorn, Taurus energy. But there was a decision that needed to be made. Somebody needed to take action, and but it, it was based off of like because of another person. How do I say this? Like there was some sort of situation. Somebody may have been jealous. And because of that, you had to take action and leave a situation. You had to walk away from something because of somebody else's insecurities. Hmm. Let's see. What is crowning Aries? We have two cards that flipped out. The Knight of Ghosts, which is the Knight of Cups, and the Seven of Pumpkins. So someone here, um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces here, may be contemplating coming towards you. I'm even feeling like this might be an, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I love you, an apology situation, but they're waiting, okay? They're kind of holding back a little bit. They're contemplating, like they're moving towards you very slowly, but uh, Aries do expect this communication from this person, 
Okay, now this could be for some of you, this could be somebody who wants to invest in you as well, and they're coming towards you, but they're coming in as a knight. And I'm going to tell you, Aries, look, we're not even wasting our time with knights anymore, okay? Now, the knight of cups could be somebody who is a romantic partner. To me, I always look at the knight of cups as somebody who loves bom love bombs. It doesn't have to be. Some situations, this could be a new romance. Somebody's coming in. And they want to, you know, date you, take you out on a date, think you're pretty. And they're actually putting in some effort, okay? But I like to see it progress to the King of Cups because that means that they're serious. Sometimes knights just come and go. They just, you know, fly by night, all right? Let's see. What's in the future for Aries? The Queen of Punkton. Queen of Punkins. <laughs> I can't even talk. Queen of Punkins. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this is a Virgo, um, Taurus, Capricorn, a person that you may know here, a situation. But this person here is, sometimes it could be somebody who's very nurturing, very giving. Um, I'm not seeing her that way. I may, I feel like there might have been a situation between you two. Now, this could be you, Aries, as well, wanting or receiving a commitment as well. This could also be you, um, like, let's just keep it general and say that, you know, you could have gotten some promotion and be in charge. This could be wealth as well. But I got to tell you what I'm thinking here. This seems like another person. This seems like another woman. Again, this could be you, Aries, embodying the energy of getting some sort of achievement or accolade or goal. Absolutely, if that resonates with you. But this seems like some person, and we're gonna get we're gonna get deeper into that. What is Aries emotions? Five of bats. Completely withdrawing from a situation. You have gone cold to a situation, you're abandoning a situation here. Oh, this is a five of swords. Aries, I feel like you felt like somebody has done you wrong. The five of swords is a very manipulative energy. And for you to be in this energy, it's like you're strategizing. You're thinking, you're contemplating, even going back and forth about what happened. We're about to get into this because I'm going to tell you all exactly. At the bottom of the deck, we have the death card here and the two of pumpkins juggling the six of pumpkins breadcrumbing. What's an Aries environment? The six of bats. All right, so moving to calmer waters, moving on to peaceful situations. You're leaving whatever this conflict is, you're moving away from it, okay? But this is in your environment. There could also be somebody who wants to have some sort of resolvement. They want to have peace with you. We have the king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. What are your inner emotions, Aries? Oh, that wanted to come out. What are your, we have one card that came out. Oof, the three of swords. You're heartbroken. You are sad about a situation here. Devastated. Three of swords is that real third party energy. Sometimes if it's a love situation, it could be a third party situation. But other times it could be, you know, just finding out the truth about something. Some sort of heartbreaking situation. A situation that really, you know, is gut-wrenching, to be honest. Okay? But it is truth, Aries. It is clarity. It's something that you needed to hear. It's something that you needed to find out. All right. What is it? And that this must be with this heartache card. We got the tea leaf card here. Heartache over what you no longer have. Now, that could be the situation as well. Some of you could be going through great loss and sorrow and you're feeling really sad or heartbroken about what the situation is. So let's see here. What is the outcome? The fool. Okay, so this is a brand new beginning, a brand new energy, breaking free. I feel like Aries, whatever this situation is, it is a situation here. It feels like betrayal. We got the four of cups here, the four of ghosts, okay, ignoring a situation, being over a situation. Whatever this situation is, it was very heartbreaking to you, right? It had you in your head with the eight of bats here, the eight of swords. It had you really stressed out and thinking. But at the end of the day, you're like, this is my opportunity 
this is my way out. This is my door out. Okay. Like you may, it may have been difficult for you to move forward before because of the eight of swords. And when this situation happened as heartbreaking as it was, you're like, this, this is what I needed. You know, I, something, sometimes that is what it is, Aries. Sometimes you do need, especially when you're in those situations where you're stuck, you're with a karmic. Unfortunately, sometimes you need your heart to be really, really broke for you to say, nah, mm -mm, no, I can't do this no more. You know, I don't deserve this. And it seems like this might be what that is because at the end, you have the fool. You completely broke free. You're having a fun. You're having a new beginning. Whatever this is in your past, you're leaving it and you're letting them clean up the mess. You're letting them deal with it, so to speak. Okay. So let's see here what this communication is. This eight of wands, ten of wands again. All right, some sort of baggage, some sort of somebody may be coming towards you with some sort of situation that you felt like was over or you let it go in the past or, you know, it was just too much of a burden to carry with you. Two of wands. So you took action to move away from this. We have a lot of wands. This is a lot of fire energy. Okay. Whatever this communication was, you're deciding that, you know, this is too much. I'm leaving this behind. I'm not taking this with me. And, okay, let's see what it was. Ooh, Queen of Swords in reverse. All right, that's some bitch shit, okay? So, ooh, somebody's pissed off. The Queen of Swords in reverse is a very pissed off energy. It's a very conniving energy. can even be a backstabbing energy as well. Let me pull one more card. And the Ace of Swords. Aries, this is what I'm getting. See, Ace of Swords upright is the truth coming out. Someone here in the moon here. Oof. Aries, you're finding out some sort of truth. Now, this Eight of Wands, there could be actually somebody coming towards you and telling you this truth. Or this can just be a download, like I said, something that you've received, some sort of knowledge that you, you've, you've received. Um, it could be a download or it could be somebody coming to tell you something. And whatever they're coming to tell you is heavy shit. It's really heavy with this Ten of Wands. But instead of beating their ass, okay, because that's the kind of energy that it is, right? Whatever it, it is different for a lot of you. Is different for a lot of you, but it's like somebody stabbed you in the back. Somebody did something to you, okay? Instead of beating their ass and instead of going off, it's just like, you know what? This is just too much. This is too much. So you're deciding to, you know what? I'm, I'm taking the high road. I'm walking away. And we don't always take the high road, but when we do Aries, we win, okay? Even though this Ace of Swords and this Queen of Swords here is in reverse, this is this person's energy, I feel like, who did this to you. It was very conniving, very backstabbing. They lied about it, and then the truth came out. This could be somebody you were involved with. This could have been a friend who did this to you, stabbed you in the back here. What is the Eight of Swords here, the, the challenge? What is the Eight of Swords? The Four of Wands. Okay, stability here. So Aries, don't stay stuck. Look at that. See, don't stay stuck. The will of fortune here. It may be a challenge. Like you may, I feel like oof, the energy that I'm getting ugh, is some really nasty shit. Okay. And it's different for a lot of you people, a lot of you people, a lot of people. I'm going to pull some confession cards. But if somebody stabbed you in the back and did something that was very painful for you to find out, don't stay stuck in that energy. Do not stay stuck replaying the events, replaying how it happened, what they did. What I'm getting is it's like somebody did some real conniving shit, okay? They could have slept with your man. They could have done, you know, could have been your sister, something like that. And maybe you're finding out about it or your intuition is just off the charts and it just hits you and you're like, oh my God, that happened, right? That happened. But what Spirit is saying, don't stay there, okay? It's... We needed you to know. We needed you to know the truth so you could move on. We didn't need you to know so we could hurt you more. And I'm talking from spirit. We didn't need you to know so you could hurt you more. We needed you to know so you could move on. Because what you have coming for you is amazing. And I promise you, 
what this person, the person who did this to you will never see this. They'll never see this. There's four of wands, this wheel of fortune. They'll never see this. But you can't stay stuck here because you will. That's what's coming for you. Okay. Let's see here. What's this two of wands in the past position? Yeah. Look at that. Nine of wands. Taking action. Decide the, the nine of wands is that real wounded warrior energy. You're, you're deciding to move away. We have the emperor in the reverse. We're deciding to move away from whatever this is that hurt us. Ooh, five of pentacles. See? Ooh, whatever it is that hurt you, you're deciding to move away from it. You're abandoning this situation, closing out this cycle. I feel like Aries, the nine of wands means that you endured a lot. You do put up with a lot of shit here. Okay, but you're choosing to walk away from it. You're choosing cold turkey to just leave it here, abandoning the situation here. What's the ten of imps in re reverse? The two. The three of wands. Okay. So once you get over this, right? Now the, the ten of wands here is in reverse now. But once you get over it with the three of wands, you move into more positive situations. Now the ships that you've been waiting to come in are allowed to come in. And they're going to come in very quickly. Very quickly. What is the knight of ghosts and the seven of pumpkins? Seven of pentacles and the knight of cups. The moon. The moon, what's done in the dark is coming to light. And it had to do with this person here. I told you this person, whoever this was, was very shifty, very shady here. Knight of Cups, somebody you may have been dealing with in the past year. Seven of Pentacles. It feel like, Aries, you've been waiting for this situation to come to light. You've been waiting for it to come to light. And it is now. It is coming to light. The moon here. Some very scandalous stuff. Three of Cups here. Three of Cups. So... Three of Cups could definitely could have been a friend thing. All right, let's clarify the Knight of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles again. Ooh, Queen of Wands in reverse. That's a dirty bitch. All right. <laughs> Just letting you know right now. That's a dirty bitch, Aries. That doesn't have to be you, but that's someone. Ooh, the Nine of Swords here. And we have the Eight of... Ooh, okay. All right. So let's see here what this Queen of Pumpkins is, this Queen of Pentacles. Who is that? This Queen of Wands is very pissed off. She's very angry at this situation. So the Empress here. Let's see here. Who is this Queen of Pentacles? The Emperor. Wow. So Aries, this person here, let me show you here. This was another woman. This is another woman, another man, whoever this is, this Knight of Cups was messing with. And they were doing it in the dark, right? The moon card is here. I can't even show you everything. The moon card is here. So this person was doing something, may have been for a little while, with this other woman, with this other person. Okay. Um, and it's coming out. But moving in the future for you, Aries... This is when I say the Knight of Cups is new, right? You could just feel the energy shift. This is a different type of Knight of Cups here. Queen of Pumpkins, Queen of Pentacles is you. You're going to be getting that commitment. Remember that reading I just did about the Emperor and the Empress? Look at this. They came out together again. That is confirmation. That reading I did the other day, that daily, that's confirmation. This is coming to you. This commitment, this Queen of Pentacles is representing a commitment. It's coming to you. We have the Knight of Cups. I also feel like, so let me tell you this, two different ways. I just got this. This is here. Look at this. Your divine counterpart, your relationship is coming to you. When you're on this, I'm going to say high horse, Aries. And when I'm saying high horse, I mean like you're on cloud nine. Because you have this divine, beautiful, you're in this power couple situation here. These two people who may have done you wrong are going to see that. They're going to try to come back. They're going to try to apologize to you. Others of you, this is just re representing that you're going to be in a new romantic relationship here. New romance. Okay? When you're in this divine connection though, for a lot of you, these two people are going to come back towards you. And they're going to want to apologize and like, oh, I didn't do that. It wasn't. It was, yeah. Okay, bitch. Um, <laughs> five of cups here. They're going to regret the hell out of it. They're going to regret the hell out of it. Let's clarify that one more time. This is Justice told you. Told you, Aries. Justice. Karma, bitch. 
when they see you glow up, when they see you in this new relationship, they're going to come back in. That's going to be the karma. That's why you don't need to be see, look at the page of wands and the fool. That's why you don't need to stay in that energy. That's why you don't need to right now manifest. You are a very powerful manifester right now, Aries. The energy is very strong and it's very in our favor. Okay. I've been manifest, I've been manifesting shit like crazy. Just even today I thought about something and it came right in. Okay, so that's why you don't stay if you found something out. That's why you don't stay in that energy. Okay, of being pissed off. Okay, because anger can really freeze you up. I'm just telling you, it's a very low vibration. And I know it can be difficult when somebody stabbed you in the back. It really can. But if you can just believe that they are going to pay tenfold for it and you don't have, there's nothing that you need to do. There's nothing you need to do. But get in a higher vibration. You have to get in a higher vibration because you have to separate yourself from that thing that was done. The more you think about that thing that was done, the more you're in that vibration. Even though you didn't do it, you're still connected to that thing. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know how to explain it to you. It's like, what I'm getting here is somebody stabbed somebody in the back. Somebody did some underhanded shit. A friend did something to somebody possibly with their lover okay let's just say that scenarios here the even though it wasn't you who did it Aries even though if it was done to you the more you think about it the more you contemplate on it the more that it's you're still in that energy so it's very low vibrational energy to be in for somebody to do that right you need to completely separate yourself and I know it's easier said than done because I haven't been I haven't been 31 hot before where I'm so angry I can't even move but know this you have something coming towards you that these two will never experience and that's going to be your justice that's going to be the karmic justice that they will have to see you elevate they will have to see you happy they will have to see you unfazed okay and th that's more vindication than anything look at this that's definitely what it is come on nails don't fail me now okay Do you see that? Justice, a new a, a new romantic cycle begins. That new romantic cycle right here. Right here. And these two people they're going to have to eat shit. Literally, okay? So I'm just letting you know, don't stay there. What is this 5 of bats here? This 5 of swords because Aries, I feel like you're plotting to be in this 5 of bats energies, which is the 5 of swords. What is this? Oh, I thought something flipped. What is the five of swords? Ooh, see? <laughs> Page of pentacles and the ten of swords. Betrayed. I get it, Aries. You feel betrayed. I get it. Okay? But let that shit go. This is, I don't normally tell people what to do in readings, but in this situation, I'm telling you, I can see your come up. Don't ruin it by trying to get back at somebody. Okay? Okay, you may never get this apology. You may never get it. And some of you, this may be confirmation that you hear about something that happened to one of these people. And I don't want to say bad because we don't want to be a part of somebody's karma because then that just reaps karma on us. That might be the case because the page of pinnacles can be sometimes good news, it could be messages. But this is a very conniving, this is a very strategic energy. And then the Ten of Swords is betrayal. So, Aries, I'm gonna tell you this don't do it don't do it if they did something to you that is not your character don't stoop to that level because then you will be sucked in you will be sucked in and that will be your karma you already have something good coming towards you what is the six of bats the king of pentacles look at that look what's coming to you that com that commitment okay this is in your environment. This is what's around you. This is in your energy coming towards you. A peaceful partner. Somebody who's going to literally be your peace. Six of Swords, King of Pentacles. That's a, somebody who's going to be very serious and very committed about you. Something that that past lover never gave you. Okay? And something that that past friend is never ever going to experience. If anybody could do something like that to you, they will have no peace for a very long time. Okay? What is this Three of Bats? the star 
So it's all right. You know, spirit's telling you right now you're going to heal. It may feel like you're not going to heal. It may sting and hurt right now, but you will be healing. And the star here is a card of wish fulfillment. So not only are you going to heal, but you're going to get a lot in the process. Look at that. Ace of Cups. You're going to get new love in the process. You're going to get love for yourself. And it takes a lot of inner strength. <clears throat> it takes a lot of inner strength to walk away from pain, especially when somebody stabbed you in the back. But I'm telling you, it is so worth it. Okay? It is so worth it. That was the three pinnacles that came out. Let's see here. All these cards falling out. All right. So what's the fool? Okay. Five of cups. Nine of swords. So you're breaking free from this. What's the fool? Eight of wands in reverse. And the nine of cups. Let me pull one more. King of wands. All right. So in the bottom of the deck, we have the six of wands, the ace of wands, and the temperance. Be patient with yourself, Aries, here. Victory is yours. You're moving forward in a very beautiful new direction here. But I'm going to tell you this because the, the outcome is a lesson here. All right. The outcome. I know this has been a long reading, but hey, this was necessary. The outcome is a lesson here. This new, this new beginning is contingent. Look at this. This fool here. Very happy, brand new phase. You're going towards it. But it is contingent on you letting go of what happened, okay? Because we have the five of cups, the nine of swords, the eight of wands in reverse, right? That's all that positive energy that's stuck. When the eight of wands is in reverse, that positive energy is stuck. You don't want the eight of wands in reverse, right? And we have the nine of cups here, which is your wish fulfillment, and the king of wands, Aries, you getting everything that you want. But the thing is, look at this. If you don't turn away from this situation here, because the Five of Cups is about perspective. This man is looking at what was, and he doesn't even see what is in the present moment that's coming and approaching him. So you have to turn away from this situation because it's doing you no good to be stuck here, to be, to be worried, to be anxious, to be replaying what happened to you. It keeps you in a very low vibration, right? And it makes whatever's coming towards you come to a halt when you're in this low vibration, okay? But you look what you have. Everything that you want is coming towards you. So the message here in the outcome is for you to definitely turn away from what happened. Whatever happened to you, it could be different for a lot of people. But the overall energy is that somebody was betrayed by somebody who was close to them, okay? You just have to turn away from it. You have to turn away from it. You have so much good coming towards you. So much good, okay? So that's the message. That's the reading for you. I'm sorry it took so long. But that is the reading for you guys. And I pray this helped someone truly because I felt a lot of pain in this reading. I really did. I could have... I could have been one of those readers that really drove it in there and 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 did that, you know. I said a little bit, but the pain that I felt in this reading opening up of those I don't want to open up those old wounds. I want you to move on and get the blessings that's coming towards you, okay? Picking off those scabs sometimes just make you relive it, okay? So, that's what I have for you guys and um again, I pray that this helps someone and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.